couple that played in last year's Final Four. Arizona bared down for red and blue in the Maryland Terrapins, ranked as high as number two in the preseason polls, but it's not where you start, it's where you finish. Mm -hmm. But let's start. We go to the garden, and there's Lute, whose squad is looking a whole lot different from last year's five. Right, Jefferson Woods, Arenas, and Gardner, all but Gardner have gone on to try to ply their craft in the league. These guys, well, who? You're going to see who. Opening minute of the game, Wildcats showing their inexperience. Juan Dixon doing what he does, getting the rip, and then Chris Wilcox with a big, huge flush, and the Terps off and running. Later in the first, Arizona trailing by two. Jason Gardner, the one man left. He shows he can do a little thievery and then a subtle little lay-in. We're tied at 20. Arizona hanging in. One minute to go in the first. Terps trailing by two. Drew Nicholas says, where are you, Lonnie? He's lost some weight, and that's levitation, Holmes. We are tied at 33 going into halftime. Second half, Arizona up one. Salim Stoudemire looking like his cousin Damon. Beautiful lay-in. Cats up three, 43-40. Then Maryland trailing, and look at Lonnie go up and get it from Chris Wilcox. Terps within two. Terps still down two in the second. Dixon comes down with the steal, finds Stevie Blake in the corner. A three ball is good. Blake hadn't done a whole bunch. Maryland all of a sudden ahead. Two possessions later, Dixon, Lonnie, it's a repeat. Crazy, crazy hops. Terps up three, but then 5-14, mark it down. Dixon sits down with four fouls. That was critical. Gardner on the pass from Walton. He hits it in too much levitation for Lonnie. He gets a foul. That's a four-point play. And then Arizona up two. Freshman Will Bynum takes it to the rim, lays it in. He does not make the free throw, but it doesn't matter. The Cats up 67-63, go on to win it by that same four-point balls. Now, the kids in Tucson can't burn down the hut. They did that after the NCAAs last year, but I'm certain there's joy in Tucson. Thank goodness Jason Gardner stayed. He scores 23 big points. Luke Walton looked nice, 12 and 12. Salim Stoudemire, one of Arizona's five true freshmen, also chipped in with a dozen. Maryland's heart and soul. Juan Dixon had 21, but you saw he had to sit at that critical stage late with four fouls. Some thoughts, please, from a surprise, Lute Olson. I was just hoping that we could make a good ball game out of it. And, uh, you know, we've, we've got tough kids. I knew that. I knew that we had competitors. Uh, but to beat someone like Maryland when we've got these six freshmen is just a, just a shock to me, although we just told the kids, hey, you go out, play as hard as you can, compete as hard as you can, and let, let things fall where they may. But come back in the locker room and look in the mirror and know that you've given it your best shot. Another game in the Garden, Temple, Florida. Owls ended the Gator season in the second round of the tournament last March. First half, Temple early lead. Alex Westby, 3 of 13, nine points. That was one of them. Florida, though, not backing down. Justin Hamilton, from that point, you get three points. Florida down, just three. Minutes later, off the rebound on Temple's end. Look here, we're going to count up them Florida players. They have the required five guys, but they're a little too far out. Hey, look behind you, the 6'10", 260-pound guy. How do you miss him? I don't know, but they did. There's Kevin Lye, wide open under the hoop for two. 6'10", 260. Fellas. Florida with possession. Defensive flaws as well. Lynn Greer, spot shadowed. Stay with your man, stay with your man. Goes to double. Uh-oh, he's open. Hamilton, three for six from deep. He had 17 points. Florida within two. Still first half. David Lee, drive. Five. That's wacky right there. If you're playing horse, you're out. Florida down two. They lost by 21 in the regional. Temple leading 26-24 here. Hamilton, hard. Game tied at 26. Lee dishes to Hamilton again. And just like that, 39-33 Gators at the half. Second half, pulling away. Brett Nelson, just three for 16, but... Now got a triple in 30 straight games. That's a new school record. Florida's up a dozen. Eight-point lead. Temple inbounding. Oh, boy. Lee robbing Alex Westby. Two draws the foul. That's just stealing. He had 15 points. And later, Matt Bonner with some candy. He had 11, and Florida goes on to win at 72 to 64. So a little salve on the second round loss. Gators are now 6-0 in opening games under Billy Donovan. They have won 10 of their last 13 games versus raked opponents. Justin Hamilton, 17 points, says... Once the game's taken away from you, you start to get a greater appreciation for it. Hamilton missed almost half of last season. Number three, Maryland at Madison Square Garden on ESPN. A situation Lute Olson said might have caused some kids' knees to buckle. Not an issue for these cool cats. 71-67 winners. Freshman center Isaiah Fox even said once the jitterbugs were gone, it was like playing in somebody's backyard. Unranked Arizona back at the Garden Friday. The coaches versus cancer icon class in title game against fifth-ranked Florida first half. Rick Anderson top shelf to Channing Fry. Arizona up by three. We flash back to the 2001 McDonald's Slam dunk contest. David Lee. 
He's got some ability. First half, more high flying for the freshman. The feed from James White. Florida trails by two. Second half now. Arizona up five. Jason Gardner heating up. NBA three. Later, Gardner, the steal, and he will go all the way for the lay-in. Gardner led the Wildcats with 23. Billy Donovan, your thoughts? Thank you. Later, Gardner coming off the screen. One more three. And he is fired up. Arizona shocking everybody in this thing. Less than two minutes to go. We're even at 69. Rick Anderson, the junior forward, sat out last season as a red shirt, beats the buzzer. Arizona up two. Florida bounces back down to Ryan Green. Tough. We're tied at 71. 29 seconds left. Still tied. Anderson gets the inbound pass, and he will take it all the way. Again, beating the shot clock. Arizona up two. 10.6 left. Jump ball at midcourt. Florida gets possession. Matt Bonner. Hey. Jason Gardner will get fouled. Shoot two free throws. After missing the first, here's Gardner. Misses the second, but look at this effort from Jason Gardner. Are you kidding me? And guess who finishes? It's Rick Anderson. Again beating the buzzer. He scored Arizona's final six points. And Arizona wins. The Wildcats, who lost four starters from last year's national title game team, brings in five freshmen on an unranked team in both preseason polls for the first time since 1990 and beats number three Maryland and number five Florida. Gardner gets tournament MVP award. Arizona now 8-0 under Lute Olsen at Madison Square Garden. After the game, he spoke with ESPN's Jay Billis. It was like we just shot our wad last night, and from the start, it was the biggest thing we had to try to do was to get them fired up. Hey, do you want to win the game, or are you thinking about how tired you are? And, uh, you know, the good thing about them is at the end, they, they battled, and we got the opportunity to win it. But uh, it was not an easy one. Consolation game, John Chaney and 17th rank Temple up against number three, Maryland. First half, Juan Dixon feeds Lonnie Baxter for two. Make it three, Terps within six. Baxter, seven points and six boards. Later in the half, it's Brian Polk for three. And he's heating up. Minutes later, another big three for the freshman. What's up with all these freshmen? Next possession, how about one more? Polk with 11 points. Owls would take a four-point lead. Still first half. Keep your eye on Niall Murray. He loses track of Dixon behind him. Niall, it goes ball, you man. Dixon is open for three. It was five for ten from beyond the stripe. John Chaney, you can see ball, you man. That's the way it goes. Dixon ties it at 32. Maryland a 14-2 run to end the first half. Terps up seven and a half times. Second half, Lynn Greer finishing. Two of his 27. Steve Blake for three. He had a career high in 20. Maryland up by 10. Less than two minutes to go. Dixon puts it away. Juan Dixon, 15 of his 25, coming on threes. And Gary Williams Terps get to one and one. They salvage something, 82-74. In Thursday's loss to Arizona, Maryland hitches seven of 27 threes. Against John Chaney's matchup zone, the Terps knocked down 12 of 19 from behind the stripe. Temple off to an